The Drop is brought to you in partnership with Cash or Trade. Hey, what's up, y'all? Amar here with The Drop by Osiris. Every Monday, we will be bringing you music news from across the industry. Be sure to check out our audio podcast that drops on Mondays as well. That'll expand on some stories and bring you artist interviews and more. Rapper, writer, and chef Action Bronson was injured at a tour stop in Canada a few days ago. A strobe light blast temporarily blinded the MC while he was on stage at the Algonquin Commons Theater in Ottawa, Ontario. He had to cut his show short and head to the hospital to receive immediate medical attention after suffering from severe disorientation. But Mr. Bronson is a fighter and rallied to play his show in Buffalo, New York the very next day, which went off without a hitch. If you're still reeling out there, sir, we wish you a speedy recovery. Les Claypool and Sean Lennon, aka the Claypool Lennon Delirium, are currently working their way through the US on tour to support their incredible second album, South of Reality. Supporting the psychedelic supergroup on this tour is Uni, the trippy glitter rock punk fueled power trio comprised of Jack James, David Strange, and Charlotte Kemp Mull. Hi, I'm Sean Lennon. I'm Charlotte Kemp Mull, and we are the ghosts of a saber toothed tiger. Yes, we are. Kemp and Sean Lennon have been a couple since 2005, and it turns out that they both founded the band Ghost of a Sabertooth Tiger, partly so they could spend more time together rather than having to stay apart while being on the road with different projects. The Claypool Lennon Delirium Tour continues through the South and through the Midwest, and wraps up on April 30th at the Madison Theatre in Covington, Kentucky. We here at Osiris gave away tickets to one of the Delirium shows at the 930 Club in DC last week, so be sure to follow Osiris on social media for more awesome giveaways. Roger Waters surprised and delighted fans on April 18th when he joined Nick Mason on stage at a Saucerful of Secrets show at the Beacon Theater. This band focuses on recreating Pink Floyd material that predates Dark Side of the Moon, so Waters took the wheel for a killer version of Set Your Controls to the Heart of the Sun a song he himself wrote that appeared on Pink Floyd's 1968 Saucerful of Secrets. Although Waters and Mason worked together in promoting the 2014 concert film, The Wall, this was the first time the two of them shared the stage since 2011, when they both were joined by David Gilmour for a performance at a Roger Waters show. This may, unfortunately, be the last time those three legends will share the stage for the foreseeable future, because Mason informed Rolling Stone that he and Mr. Gilmour just cannot seem to get along. In my mind, it's a simple matter. It's a rock and roll group. Someone's left. The others get to carry on. Just a few days ago, we found out that Cameron LaForest of Spafford will be giving up the drummer's throne, and Nick Tkachuk will be taking his place. Nick was the Arizona Quartet's original drummer, having been in the lineup from 2011 to 2017. Regarding LaForest's departure, Spafford guitarist Brian Moss said, We have nothing but love and respect for our brother Cam. The band has had an amazing journey together in the past two years, and we wish him the very best in the future. He is an amazing individual through and through, and we all plan to remain the close friends we are. He will always be part of our family. Moss further elaborated on Nick's initial departure from Spafford in 2017, citing that it was rather unexpected for the band at the time, but they supported the hiatus because it was vital for Nick's personal growth. It's the cells. And the cells are only programmed to put themselves back together in very specific ways. Right. Now that he's back in the band, the guys are welcoming him back in with open arms, and they're thankful for their fans for their continued undying support. Spafford's summer tour takes them all over the country through many of the season's big festivals like the New Orleans Jazz Fest, Summer Camp, Electric Forest, and Camp Bisco. On June 21st, they will be playing Red Rocks with Umphreys McGee. In August of 2018, we lost one of the greatest singers of all time, the indomitable Aretha Franklin at age 76. The Queen of Soul earned 17 top 10 hits, 70 top 100 hits, 18 Grammys, and was even the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. The first female and the only female to have been inducted into the Hall of Fame, the Queen of Soul, hello, the Queen of Soul, Miss Aretha Franklin. Even though she's no longer in this physical world with us, her list of accomplishments is still growing. 
Just last week, Ms. Franklin posthumously received a special award and citation by the Pulitzer Prize Board. We see her making history yet again being the first woman to have ever been awarded this honor. And even though her music will bring joy to countless future generations, we will still miss you, Aretha. Sometimes the news of the week can get a little heavy, so we leave you with some footage of Butter, our video editor Eric's beautiful little puppy. I'm Amar with Osiris, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.